can we chat with uh, Chase Young and why you guys felt like he was maybe the rough player? Uh, yeah, look, you know, he's a good player, and, and we had an opportunity to, uh, you know, sign a good player. Um, you know, it's a good opportunity for both of us, really. You know? That's just the end of the day. He's had a pretty interesting career in terms of just, like, you know, really strong first season, he's had some injuries since then. Yeah. How do you feel kind of about his health? And yeah, I mean, listen, we, we, we uh, you know, did all our due diligence. We were aware that, you know, uh, he was going to need some work, and, and uh, we're optimistic about that. And, uh, yeah, listen, he's, he's a wonderful talent, had a great first season, and then he's had some injuries to deal with. And, um, yeah, was, you know, was, he's a young player still with, with um, a lot of desire. And, and um, look, I'm, I'm excited to have him. We're excited to have him. That was something I assume he was dealing with on the field. Is the idea that if he gets a stun, like maybe that will even help him yeah. play a little better? Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. And, and, he, and look, I think he played pretty well this last year, too. Yeah, I was going to say, when you watched him, like, did you see the neck affect him at all? Or is that... Yeah, I wouldn't say that we did, no. It, it, um, yeah, I wouldn't say there was anything that you, know, you would watch and say, oh, wow, look at that. Um, so that wasn't the case at all. Is kind of the idea of this offseason that the, and you mentioned this at the combat, just are you guys really going through that process of trying to get a little bit of yeah, the cleaner cap? Yeah, absolutely. These moves kind of telling the same story. Just yeah, like, I, I, you know, I think we've, you know, we're in that mode right now. We've got to, you know, recover from, from, you know, some of the things that, that happened with COVID and the contracts that we did in the past. And so not as active in free agency maybe as you'd like to be at times. Um, and, and look, I think we're probably going to be in that mode for another year or so. That's kind of the realistic timetables, maybe this year and next yeah. year, and then you're kind of where you want to be. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. It, again, that part of that depends upon how we perform, you know, how players perform, how our, how our team performs, what the cap is. There's a lot of variables that go with that. Um, um, so yeah, we get, we got to get our plan back on pace, um, and it was you know, it was knocked off pace by by the uh, by COVID and, and, you know, the reduction in the cap and all the things that came with it. So you guys used to approach the offseason with the wants and needs yeah. list. Yeah. Where are you in that process? Yeah, we're in the middle of it. <laughs> 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 yeah, we got the must wants and needs and, and we've got some of it taken care of and, and uh, you know, there's still free agency still going on. We have, you know, an opportunity during this draft to uh, add some players and, and then, um, you know, there's always the trade route as well, so we'll leave no stone unturned. How does Chase factor into how do you kind of view the pass searching group as a whole? Yeah, I look, like I, I think, yeah, listen, I think that uh, um, we're kind of excited about that group. Um, you know, we've got a good mix of veterans and young players and, and guys that we have, you know, high expectations for. And, that, and what's really exciting is that we have a lot of guys that have high expectations for themselves. Um, so we'll see how that goes. What does the addition of Willie Gay Jr. do to the defense? Yeah, listen, he's a, he's a good player. Um, I think I think there's he's gonna, he's going to push our guys. He's going to be competing. He's going to you know, have an opportunity to play a lot of downs for us. And and um, you know, particularly with Zach Bond um, moving on to another team, you know, we need we had a need there. And so we've got again, we've got we've got a group of guys that we like. Um, and, and um, you know, led by DeMario, and so I would say that was that was a good addition. And how important was it to get contract renegotiations done with guys like DeMario? Yeah, and but they're important because, A, of our cap situation, and B, because we're trying to, you know, we're trying to manage all this together. Um, it allows us to, you know, keep our group together, allows us to manage our way out of, uh, uh, the cap situation and remain competitive, and so all of it's connected. With the guy, with the way you guys went about that, or, or when you talk about like cleaning the cap, like like Tyron's deal, for instance, mm -hmm. adding on that extra year but kind of lowering the salary, yeah. is that kind of yeah? Maybe it's all, it's all part of it. You know, all these things are they're they're not independent of each other. They're all connected. It's a, it's a big puzzle, um, and that's what makes it complicated. Any one of these individual deals are not complicated, but you know, piecing it all together and having it planned out for a period of time, you know, two and three years out, that's what gets complicated. Is going the pay cut route something you guys feel like you were able to do more a little this year? 
The what route? The, the pay cut route? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that that's, yeah, it's just like, you know, I don't know how to answer that because it's all so connected. What are some of the things you guys liked about uh, Peterman? Yeah, I think number one is his comfort level in, in uh, you know, with with, uh, with Derek, he had some experience in the system and so th there was a lot of synergies there. And then uh, Chinoco, I believe, he worked with them too. Is there yeah. stuff that just yeah. like there's, he brings to that? Yeah, there's some that, connections. That yes, there's yeah. some connections there. And, um, yeah. Is that signing also kind of maybe related to see where Jake is at, just in terms of whether he can seize that, seize that back up? Now? Yeah, I, do, I don't think they're connected. We're excited about Jake, excited about about um, what he did for us his, you know, his first year and, and, and going forward. So. Do you feel like he is maybe ready to step into that backup role? If, yeah, well, yeah, we're going we're gonna to find out, aren't we? Um, yeah, so look, you need more than one quarterback, yeah. right? <laughs> um, with Chase, how did you guys feel about his knee? I mean, that was also the major yeah, thing with him. Yeah, felt fine about it. Yep. We did, you know, like I said, we did our due diligence on, um, on all the physical aspects, and, and we feel good about him. You guys also... Uh, down from Michael Thomas or if that came to an end. Yeah, I know, yeah, we'll see where that ends up. Uh, I'm not sure how much you have to do with this, but um, how are Super Bowl preparations going? Or would that be? I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be better for Dennis. <laughs> That'd be good for Dennis, yes. But look, I, listen, I love the Super Bowl. And this is independent of me being with the Saints. I love the Super Bowl when it's in New Orleans. I uh, loved it before I got here. Um, I think we're the perfect city for the Super Bowl. And, and, uh, if it were up to me, it'd be, it'd be in New Orleans every two or three years. And I think uh, that if it were up to a lot of people, that would be the case. Could you expand on what you meant by, we'll see where that ends up with Thomas? Yeah, is that... no. <laughs> what I said was what I said. Okay. Uh, I guess it's like, is that door still open for you guys? Or yeah, is that... again, I, I've already said, I've already commented on that, so I don't want any more comments on it. Mickey, what do you think about the late... Trying the competition passing the, the rule on the hip drop. Yeah, look, I think it was necessary. Um, we we understand the play and understand how um, you know devastating it can be in terms of injury and, and uh, so I understand it. Um, understand why we need to get it out of the game. I know Riz has been doing a lot of work on the uh, the kickoff. Yeah, he sure has. Yeah. How how would that change things if, if that gets passed? Like, does that change anything with how you build well, special teams? Yeah, it's a good question, um, and I think that's part of the equation here. Is is you know, and we don't have all the answers to that because we haven't seen it. We haven't really seen it in our league yet. So, how does that change the makeup of your roster? I, I don't think it's going to be real significant, but it'll be you know there'll be some tweaks, um, and and look, we support that uh, that change. I think. You know, we need to do something to get the kickoff back in the game, and, and I think this is this is a, a, a you know viable solution. I, you know, we'll see if it gets voted in or not, but but um, I think the kickoff is one of the most exciting plays in our game, and so when you're down to you know only getting 20 percent of the kickoff's return, then you know we need to do something. Same kind of status quo for Marshawn Lattimore. That's the last time we talked. Yeah, nothing changed. How is the cornerback market kind of affected whether you do or don't make a move there? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I haven't said that we're going to make a move, so right. I, don't, I don't know. Nobody's made an offer we can refuse on any player, so, you know, that's, yeah, I don't have any, I don't have any comments on it.